Okay, we're leaving Springerville and we are going back for Hampton in New Mexico and uh, Morris and and, um, and uh, Georgiana are really special people and we're in we're headed for the New Mexican Arizona state line right now at the end of this road and uh, this is just beautiful country and uh, we got a little bit of equipment problem set us behind and so we got to hustle before dark to get to Hampton and uh, everybody's doing well oh yeah we got hay and kids and, and everybody and we're doing well and we're we got food and we got hay and we got a bit of diesel and so we're just getting over to Hampton getting up on the Pie Town through Cuamato and Pie Town New Mexico and uh, uh, it's a beautiful place up there on top and we're trying to make it tonight and if it weren't for uh, a few people and uh, Morris and uh, Gloriana uh, Georgiana I'm sorry Gloriana she even gives me makes me so happy because she's a really good-hearted woman and they let the kids ride their horses and never jumped on them or nothing and um, if it wasn't for Morris and uh, Georgiana uh, boy we struck out in Arizona I mean we didn't raise one dollar and we didn't make one ha friend hardly in Arizona and so uh, there's a couple people on the western side of the state but it's a, a, a desolation of souls in Arizona man they make military equipment and and uh, Everybody's a John Wayne, their own bootstraps, and uh, the ACA don't exist. The, the TVs in Phoenix weren't interested. Only the Sholo paper printed a story, and maybe the one in Globe, but that's it, man. And uh, we had no experience like that in Oregon or California, none at all. People just were really friendly in Oregon and California and really helped us a lot, and, and we made a lot of friends, man. But in Arizona, in Morris and, and Georgiana, and, uh, and, and, and a real good fisherman, one fellow. And we had a wonderful time in Springerville because of uh, Morris and Georgiana. They're really, really good people. You kids have a good time with uh, the farm there? Yeah. Yep. Yeah? All right. Okay, guys, there's the concrete post. That's the Arizona New Mexico state line. So, Arizona Edo New Sapo Na Tini Sum Na Now Topo Edo Na New Sapo New Mexico Bajome. Okay, we're in New Mexico now. See the sign on the right? Yeah. Yay. It says we're in New Mexico. Yay. It says two chili peppers. It's right there, guys. Right there. There's New Mexico. Okay, we're parked in Pie Town on the top of the Continental Divide. We're looking at beautiful stars. You can't see them very well in this, but they're there. There's one. And we're looking at the Milky Way right there. And we're looking at the bus, and Apium's asleep, and there's a meteor shower up here, and we're trying to see them. And our headlights weren't working at the last minute, so we got to get them fixed. And Pie Town is clear, and it's and, and we're gonna have pie tomorrow. And we just want to say thanks so much to, to Morris and Georgiana. And Pie Town's a beautiful place. Here's a truck crossing the Great Divide at night. He can light up our truck for us in Cabelli. And there's the Aka Ride for Freedom bus on the Great Divide in the middle of the night. Maybe we'll get some light on it. You can see a little bit maybe? I don't know. There he goes, man. Fan him into the night. Okay, um, we just got up to Pie Town. Where they make pies, and uh, Ango and Mida and uh, Opium's over there sleeping, man. And um, we got in just at dark, and our headlights went out, and we got to get them buy new bulbs. And um, we want to say in Hampton, we gave them some hay, and uh, we have a bale of hay for Jim up here in the mountain at Pie Town for helping out, and. Uh, Look, we got a sign that we want uh, we want Morris and Georgiana to know how special they are. We got a sign. Thank you, Aso Apium, Atsa Ango Mida, Habiha, Matthew, Michu, the bus and the horse. All say thank you. And we got here. We had enough diesel because. Mm -hmm. Georgiana and uh, Morris helped us out and the man from Colorado 
uh, that catches crappie. Okay, he helped us out too. I think I ought to go get his name. Abu Hela Loli Nahum Paul. And um, so tomorrow we're going to have a piece of pie. And uh, we're going to, Michu's going to get a piece of pie to Yum Jasi. And, um, uh, and let's see, so, so uh, we're really thankful that we made it to Pie Town on the Continental Divide. And uh, Ang wants to show you more pictures. And we, we appreciate that the bus got here without overheating it or anything. And we want to say thank you to Glenn Condra from Fort Collins who helped us out buy diesel and brought us a bunch of fish. Where are the fish at? We still got fish left over. Where are they at? Oh, so, the yeah, uh, so we want to show you because she caught some fish and he gave them to us and we cooked up three. And look at that. Big old fish. Is that good or what, guys? And we, we, we cooked up three, three of them and we fed Morris and Georgiana and uh, we got one trout and we fed... Uh, uh, Glenn and uh, and we had some and we put them with uh, garlic and chili peppers and uh, Tihumba. So that one's bigger, isn't it? Okay, lift it up. Okay, yeah, there it is, one fish, man. And so he's really good at catching crappie. Glenn Condra throws his line on the water and he doesn't stay there 30 seconds and he pulls out a crappie. He's so good at it, isn't he? Okay. Yeah, and then he does like this. Boom! And he whips it out of the water, man. That thing's shooting across the water. I seen him do it. And uh, so anyway, he brought some fish over and we cooked them and we fed everybody together. And so we're really we're really thankful that we got fish and that they helped us out with diesel. And for Arizona. For Arizona, Morris and Georgiana, number one, la. Number one. Angle. Who's, who's number one in Arizona? Georgiana. Georgiana and Morris. Yeah, that's right. And they fisherman. let you ride horses and the Fisherman Glen. And they let you ride horses and ponies and play with the goats and, uh, and the big horses and everything, didn't they? Yeah. Okay. So... We just want to be really thankful for what we got. And uh, the rest of Arizona, you know, was a little bit on, I got to say it, they were pretty stingy. I mean, we didn't raise a hundred bucks in Arizona and we didn't hand out more than five flyers. And uh, people weren't a whole lot interested. The newspaper and the TV weren't interested at all. But Morris, Safel, and Georgiana made up for all that. And, and, uh, uh, the town of uh, 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 there that they live is great, okay? So in Springerville is the best town in Arizona. And the lady in Sholo that helped us out, we appreciate that in Lakeside. That was really nice. She took care of Hampton, uh, uh, um, uh, Vicky, And so in Mike, and we want to say thank you to them too. And those are the two greatest people in Sholo and Georgiana Morris in Springerville and we had a great time just before we left Arizona and now we're in New Mexico tonight on Pie Town on the top of the world and then we're gonna leave for for Daddle and for um, I want to say Margaritaville but it's uh, Magdalena and then for Socor Socorro and and uh, Roswell in Dallas Texas okay <clears throat> okay this is uh this is a calendar. I got it from actually the ink spot in Salem, a printing shop. And uh, on this calendar, I mark what day of the week, I mark what day of the journey we're at, and I mark what the subject of that movie is going to be about for that day. And right now, we moved the bus to Pie Town. Hampton's right over there. We came from, from Alfalfa. And um, uh, it's Saturday, the 15th of August and it's day 163 and we probably have to go to eastern New Mexico uh, by like Roswell or there and we're halfway to New York and so uh, once we get there the journey's getting shorter not longer and, and so we got three days to Socorro about four or five days to Roswell New Mexico and then a couple days to the border and at Roswell, or a little bit past Roswell, we're over halfway in this journey. And we just list them all here, and so we're going to be up around 
300 days, you know, it's going to be like nine months. And then if we get caught by winter, we're going to either have to keep going through the winter uh, in the snow and in the cold, uh, shorter days because less daylight, or we're going to have to winter down like South Carolina. So we'll see what happens, and uh, we'll go Dallas, Louisiana, head for Atlanta, and then head for D.C., and then head for New York, and we'll see how that goes. Um, so anyway, we're just uh, holding our show together, and we're getting all this stuff done, and uh, we tell each day what the movie is, and so uh, I think we feel pretty good about it. We're almost halfway, and uh, somehow we get a diesel, and we get uh, hay and, and, and some grain for the horse, and we do the best we can, and... Uh, we keep everybody's spirits up and we get food and we take care and we drive safe and we ride safe and we try to meet as many people as we can and give away as many Aka cards and tell the Aka story as best we can and we just keep working on that um, everywhere we go and it just keeps getting interesting I mean it just stays interesting and we meet some really fantastic people and uh, generally speaking, we're really glad to be out of Arizona. So, uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching our videos. And the other thing is, 189 videos. I think now we're going to have more than that, probably over, uh, close to 200 videos on YouTube. If you watch the videos on YouTube, make a donation. You can't buy a pizza to feed a couple people for less than 20 bucks. And with drinks, it's 30 bucks or more. And your $20 donation on YouTube buys us uh, a diesel or feeds a horse or, or food. And this is helping the publicity for the Aka people. When we get done with this, we're going to go back and work on some other projects for the Aka. But this lays a foundation and tells a lot of people in America about the Aka who never knew about it before. Think, 189 videos, over 100,000 views. A hundred thousand times people have watched videos about the Aka who wouldn't have had anything to watch if we hadn't done this journey. And so we know we're getting the word out to a lot of people and that goes up by like two, three hundred views a day. And that's just going to keep building and we just keep getting more and more people subscribed and tell your friends, get them to subscribe and go over there and donate. Put five bucks in, put ten bucks in. It makes it easier on us. We don't have any sponsors or anything like that. And it's just friends and family and so I uh, do your part what you can if you enjoy watching the videos it takes a lot of work to pull this whole thing together and you can make a small donation uh, cost of a beer cost of a pizza helps us out a lot you know? and, uh, and if you stop by the bus bring cold beer because we can't afford it <laughs>